Hey guys, your boy, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at what we do in the Shadow Season 3 Episode 1. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm really excited to see what they do. It is a dark time in Staten Island. A lot of vampires have been slaughtered. Not us, thankfully. We're fine. But are we? I don't think we are. The worst part is that it was our familia that did the slaughtering. The worst part is it was Nandor's own familia that did the slaughtering. It was <laughs> quiet. Stop it, Colin Robinson. Robinson. Everybody relax. I have given this a lot of thought and my vote is... You don't get a vote. Hey! Why not? Because you are basically just another version of Nadja and so your vote will be the same as hers, which is not fair. You don't know that just because... Oh, sorry, you go. No, you go. No, you go. Okay, I'll go. Okay, fine. What would your vote be? Death. Oh, what a brilliant point she has. I think we should slumber on this. We do not have time to slumber. The vampire council is probably out there now, searching for us and him as we speak. Silence and hark. <laughs> that was him. What could he want? Perhaps he is warning us of an imminent danger. Or maybe his poop bucket's full. With the just... handrail because the stairs are very steep. Stupid prick. When was she less fed? What day is it? Sunday, maybe. Really? Gosh, it feels like Saturday. It's just like, where did my weekend go? <laughs> Am I right? This is why I said we should have a checklist of when he was fed and who fed him. How long has he been down here? Almost a month, 29 days. A month? Jeez. And you've not decided his fate yet? Well, I have certainly been trying to. A decision like that, there's a lot of moving parts. <sighs> Got it. Now remember. Do not look him directly in the eyes. We still do not know the depths of his power. Never looked him in the eyes anyway, so I'm certainly not going to start now. Get the door open. Slide his bucket of shame over to the sally port, and the prisoner will be reminded not to make any sudden movements lest he get the prize. I have a name. Just slide your shit bucket over to Sally's port. <laughs> Thank you. Careful. Yeah. Come to mama. This is ridiculous. Can't you just let me out? You know I wouldn't hurt you. Bullshit. Please remember that this man is a vampire killer. I was protecting you. I saved your life. Yes, and we have taken that into consideration. But we are still in discussions about what your fate is going to be. Oh, okay. And may I ask how far along? Laszlo. Laszlo? No. Laszlo. <laughs> Okay, so day 30 of imprisonment. Not bad, actually. I get pretty good Wi Fi down here, so I've been able to re watch some of my favorites. Did another round with Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I can show you around if you want, give you a tour. Here. This is my bed. There's my mini fridge. And there's the chicken they think I eat raw. And some yoohoos. And that is where I. Um, yeah, without me, the vampires don't know what they're doing. Like, literally, they can't do anything without me. They can't even imprison someone back. Especially because they're considering, you know, killing me. <laughs> but I just wonder what would happen if I wasn't what? here to help them out. They're like family. Still, I know, codependent much. Psychopath. I too have developed a small seed of affection for Guillermo, but the vampire code stands. He killed vampires, therefore he must be killed. What about the warrior's code? A man who saves your life in battle should be owed a debt of eternal gratitude and mercy. Oh, yeah, the uh, perennial conundrum between the warrior and Killing you. Well, I'm a soldier. Yes. Not a great warrior like you, of course, but... Oh, thank you. A soldier, nonetheless, who saved your life would do it again in a heartbeat because that's the code i live by the code of the warrior yes this is what i've been trying to tell them what there's a code amongst warriors the warrior's code yes said i am with a lone voice crying out in the wilderness <laughs> ow fucking splinter in my pool <laughs> 
which reminds me. Is it empty, half empty, mostly liquid, or are there some Lincoln logs in there for me? Okay. Listen, everyone, I didn't mean to alarm you, but we haven't heard from you. We sent 87 ravens to summon you, which is a big deal for our budget. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's that right. makes sense. Oh, the ravens. Okay, so you did see them and you did nothing, just like last time. Well, Maybe you could try using the telephone. We did try the telephone. It did Guillermo job to answer the telephone. I'm sorry, but why did he not answer the telephone? Because you had me in a cage in the basement. Always an excuse for this wise guy. Yeah. All right, on to the business at hand. I come to you with a personal message from the Supreme Worldwide Vampiric Council. <sighs> I bid you adieu. Adieu to you. Adieu. That's <laughs> an elf. Hell yeah. I love to. Oh, my favorite chair. <laughs> it is a great honor, but also, you know, quite a responsibility. Well, I've been on the local vampiric council for a few years now, mainly at an entry-level position. I mean, what can I say? It's good to be the king. <laughs> Mel Brooks, History of the World, Part 1. I didn't become a vampire to end up a pen-pushing bureaucrat. I became a vampire to suck blood and to fuck forever. But you must admit, this is quite an honor. I couldn't give a fuck. It is the record button. Should I turn it off? Who is he talking to? This time. Once the leader of men, now a leader of vampires. But one matter still remains. What to do about Guillermo? Do you have to chain me? Oh. No. Then why did you do it? Damn. Seemed kind of fun. All right, get in there. Kneel before your masters, fool. I will not kneel. All right, then. Oh, shit. Who, who took the batteries out of my prodding? Just let him stay in there, Colin Robinson. We all agreed I could prod him one more yet, time. Yet, but you tried and nothing happened. We have a lot to get through this evening. <clears throat> Guillermo de la... Uh, Green. What is it again? Um, Green. You're a fully-fledged member of the team. What? You're gonna make me a vampire. What? Of we're <laughs> fucking not you idiot. Me. <laughs> no, we're gonna do something much better than that. You gonna do another drum roll? Or... I don't think no, drum rolls. We are gonna make you a vampire's particle. <sighs> so I think. Not, not really what a fully fledged member of the group. Well, excuse person. me, it's a big bloody step up from being a familiar, and it's way better than being dead. So you gotta take it or leave it. Take it. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> I'll take it. All those in favor of accepting his acceptance. Uh, uh, Okay, great. Unanimous yeah. supplement. Things I would have done anyways. Here's my stopping that. Could you do me a small favor? Fetch me the book, which is next to my father's ashes. Do it a bit quicker because you're interrupting my magazine reading. Now go into the basement and fetch my witch's skin hat. Don't you fucking dare. So yeah, I just let them think they can hypnotize me. Is there another difference? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Also, whenever Colin Robinson says your name, you will meow like a kitty cat. <coughs> the <end. laughs> Colin Robinson, why did you have to add that bit? It's for me, all right? <laughs> for me! Okay. Yeah, more. Yes, and she has assumed my bones. Last time we were here, we were sentenced to death by the Vampiric Council. Yeah. Had we not escaped from this cat house... I saved them. We saved them. Had we not escaped from this fluorescent mausoleum, we'd be fucking dead. First, thank you. Does anyone remember how the elevator works? <coughs> Nando, just tell it to take us to the dungeon. I think it's key three. Oh. This is my favorite room. This is lovely. Very nice. And I'm sure you'll all remember the judgment chamber. No. Could we forget? Yes, I remember it well. The last time we were in this very room, we were this? Said... Hey. Oh, nice. Which oh. one of you will assume the master's throne? Is there not a uh, throne for all of us? <laughs> <laughs> no! I just assumed, you know, because there's more than one of us, there will be more than one throne. This is it! Oh. Listen, you're all on the vampire council. All but of us? All four of you. But only one of you can be the supreme leader. The one who rules over all vampires all vampires in the local New York area, and also is the boss over all the other members of the council. Only one. So who will be the supreme leader who rules over all others? Um, 
Fuck no. Okay. I designed the best one, but it's probably, I think, amazing. There it is. Haven't decided yet, Colin, we're all getting done. We've got the mechanism together. They were fighting with Colin over the seat, who gets the throne, and then Colin, like, thinking his hypnosis worked on Guillermo. Bro, this is a good ass season opener, bro. 29 days, though, in a chamber that he could escape anytime. <laughs> Wow, this, this yo, I can't wait to see what they do with this season now. Like I, I don't know if he directed. I didn't see it. I forgot, but um, he made the guest appearance like Titi Wakiki. So I didn't see that coming. And then them becoming like when they killed all the vampire council, them becoming a council. And that was actually a good spin on it. So can't wait to see what happens in the next uh, in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.